there is an SL variant clone. And so I endeavored to find that clone. And so I found that clone, and that clone, uh, it, I guess it ships out of Japan. So I have this box here. It just came in the mail. Um, came from Japan, so I'm going to open it. I've taped up my uh, identifying information. Um, so let's open it together, and we'll see what's in here. You buy it on a <laughs> non-secure site, but it does go through PayPal, so, I mean, worst comes to worst, you have PayPal as a resource, or as a recourse, uh, in case, you know, something doesn't add up, you can always do a charge back through PayPal, uh, which can be hit or miss, right, but it's something. Okay, so we're opening her up. Alright, well, let's get her in frame there. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's all rolled up in this paper bag. It's got my packing slip. I'm not going to take that out because it might have identifying info. Yeah, it looks like they all come in one of these. And they say long wits, but you know, it's not. Um, and uh, the site calls it an SL variant uh, replica. So there it is. You know, uh, the, uh, the other YouTube video has already, you know, shown some of this stuff. Now, I don't have any originals. I don't know if this will how this will compare. So let's take out my dummy rounds here. Okay. Load them up. They're a little tight, or at least this one is, to load up. I ordered a few of them. Um, well, I guess I need one more dummy around here. Excuse me while I reach over and get one. And for those of you who don't know, essentially what happens is that little center thing gets pushed by or into that little center thing and it releases the rounds into there. Uh, didn't quite get that, but you get the idea. Alright, uh, the video cut off there wasn't paying attention to my battery life, but... Um, uh, where did I leave off? Uh, it looks like I had shown uh, how this loads into the revolver here. Um, now, got a little bit of an issue, right? So you see this uh, part of the grip panel here. Even though this is pretty, pretty slim as far as... Um, as far as the overall material that they're using to actually hold on to these, you still have some interference with this grip panel here. So I don't know if I can get it clearly. But you can kind of see that it kind of have to get it over that little hump. Now there's enough play in these that um, that is possible and it's not really a problem. Um, but what I did notice that it's a pro that is a problem is because it's kind of at an angle. Let me see if I can turn it around and show you. And you see how this this kind of at an angle here. It's not 100% in line with the actual cylinder. Um, it can pose a little bit of an issue 
on release, sometimes one or two of these will be, because it's offline, they'll be a little bit, they won't completely be inside the cylinder. It's fine, once it drops away, they fall in with gravity, but that is something to keep in mind, um, the clearance for the grips. I don't know if the original ones did that, um, I don't have original ones to compare to, maybe someone that has original ones can uh, compare, but um, this is a uh, 686 with the uh, Mitchell grips or whatever, so if you have those, then if you have something that's similar, I guess, then perhaps you'd have an issue. Um, The replicas come with the, I guess, replica instruction sheet. That's uh, in German. Um, well, I showed this earlier, but this is the replica bag. Then, aside from packing material, there was a free gift. Um, it was one of those chain looking speed loaders. Um, I don't think that's really relevant to the show other than the fact that a free gift was provided. I guess I can show you the invoice so you can see how much I paid. Um, so let's see. So it was um, 169 total including shipping for four of these things, and I guess the little bonus gift that I got. Got a weird thank you note card thing. Uh, that that is not the seller. That that's interesting. All right. Um. Some additional info cards came as well. Uh, I guess it's, a little, it's basically the same stuff that's on the site. Smart speed loader, a revival of SL variant speed loader from Germany. Different info card, same thing that you can see on their website. And another info card with a picture of the free gift that I got, which is a six shot chain thing, which does me no good on a seven shot revolver. But anyways, that's uh, that's what comes in the packaging. Well, let me see if I can show this. I'm not sure if you can really see this, but it looks like okay. So, I'm not sure if you guys can tell here, but uh, just from that little bit of usage, let's see if we can get these closer into frame here. Oh, get that guy out. there's a little bit of a cant or a bend in this one and that's the one that I've been kind of loading and unloading so I'm not sure if that speaks to the durability of it or if that's just normal let me see if I can get it out I guess it's just me I, I can't really tell anymore I know this one is one that I haven't been using. So perhaps it just really depends on, you know, the angle that this has gone in. And you can see. Okay, we're doing a drop test just around six feet. Um, you see there's a door in the background for reference. It's got a full set of 357 Magnum so that it has the appropriate weight. Those are actual rounds, they're not dummy rounds. Okay, drop. 
pick it up. Did it lose any? Nope. Apart from the lead tip, it looks all intact. Okay, so the bullets took damage, but nothing to the speed loader? Looks fine. Okay. Alright, drop it again, but this time try to get it so that it drops on its, uh, on the handle, yeah. Okay. Any cracks? I do not see any. Any bends? Uh, no. I mean, it shouldn't, because it's not hitting the little brass tip, but... All the rounds stayed in there? Yep. Alright, so that was drop number, uh, six and number seven. So, as you saw from the drop tests, our uh, speed loader is still functional. Here you can see that there's uh, obvious deformation on some of these rounds. Uh, this is a lead hollow point tip. Hit the ground at around, <clears throat> at around six feet, a little bit over six feet. Why did I choose to drop them over six feet? It just, I figured that, uh, some of you giants out there that aren't imps like myself are uh, still using a wheel gun and you drop your speed loader you'd like to know that it's not rated for quote unquote shoulder height and the guy's shoulder you know is all of five foot nothing so this is these appear to be I guess pretty decent uh, um as I said earlier, uh, I was dropping them on hard tile, so gravel, mud, grass, asphalt, concrete, you're probably going to be fine. Uh, I'm not going to throw them off of a second story. Um, this is sufficient for me. Um, for you airsofters, I guess that might, you, you, you know, you might want to drop it off a second story just to see if it'll work. I also... Um, we also did dro uh, drop it without any ammunition in it. Um, I, I chose not to film any of that just because there were no Ill adverse effects and didn't get any cracking, no chipping. It doesn't even look like there's any marring really. And part of that's probably because there's not enough actual mass uh, when it's empty for it to really do anything other than deform a little bit and then probably deflect some of that. But yeah. They're still working. It's still working. Let me show here. You know, that is... Those are live rounds. I know nothing happened with them, so let's go ahead and... See if I can get this on camera as much as possible here. Alright. There you go. Couldn't quite activate it with my thumb, but there it is. Um, uh, some of you may be asking why, okay, we're clear. Why was I choosing to uh, use live ammunition with the test? And um, there's nothing in here that's gonna really hit the primer, so I wasn't really worried about that. Um, and, I was okay sacrificing a couple of these uh, if something happened to the actual ammunition. Just to properly test this with the, uh, I guess, the amount of mass that that it would actually have hitting the ground with uh, a full load of 357. Um, and here you can see that there's no deformation on the stem or anything, nothing like that. So. Um, I don't see any deformation on the little yellow teeth that it grabs onto. They seem to be just fine. So for what it's worth, these um, are pretty decent replicas. But yeah, I had to sign for mine. They came in that box. You saw the packaging. They're very well packaged. Um, I ordered them, I want to say, on the 17th they got here 10 days later, and I have uh, no complaints whatsoever.